Hey there everyone, welcome back to Press for Truth TV. Today is Wednesday, August the 8th, 2012, and right now I'm currently uploading a video to my YouTube channel of an interview that I did last night with James Corbett of CorbettReport.com. And uh, James has a regular radio broadcast every evening at 10 p.m. Eastern. And so he had me on the program last night for the full hour, and we talked about all sorts of different topics and good stuff. We had a good uh, discussion there. So if you'd like to check out the interview, I'll put a link to that in the description so you can see it for yourself. And other than that, uh, we'll move on to today's story, which as you can see from the title, we're talking about bioelectrical implants and the evolution of so-called transhumanism. And uh, that, basically in a nutshell, is this whole concept of man and machine becoming more intricately connected in the very near future. And uh, we've obviously already seen some advancements in the medical communities with uh, this type of a concept. Uh, for example, with pacemakers, uh, electrical device that is implanted into the chest sends out electrical signals to regulate uh, the heartbeat. Um, so this certainly does have medical uh, benefits to this technology. Uh, but also there are people out there, such as the military industrial complex, who are very interested in this type of research uh, because they've been dreaming for years now about creating a super soldier, uh, somebody who would be bigger, stronger, faster, better eyesight, better hearing, and all kinds of uh, things that they would like to see come out of this transhumanism uh, movement and the, and the mixing of man and machine. And uh, I'll show you uh, what Wikipedia's breakdown of what transhumanism is. Uh, here's what they have to say about the movement. Transhumanism is an, in, uh, an international intellectual and cultural movement that affirms the possibility and desirability of fundamentally transforming the human condition by developing and making widely available technologies to eliminate aging and to greatly enhance human intellectual, physical, and psychological capabilities. Transhumanist thinkers study the potential benefits and dangers of emerging technologies that could overcome fundamental human limitations. There's something of interest, fundamental human limitations. This is all starting to sound eerily familiar now with a group of men back in, oh, I'd say the mid-1940s or so, who were very interested in eliminating uh, unwanted uh, traits in the human gene pool and creating a superhuman race of the future. And uh, these men are highly involved with eugenics, uh, so we're starting to see a bit of a bigger picture here that is starting to emerge in regards to the transhumanism movement. It goes on to say here, uh, these emerging technologies that could overcome fundamental human limitations as well as study the ethical matters involved in developing and using such technologies. They predict that human beings may eventually be able to transform themselves into beings with such greatly expanded abilities as to merit the label post-humanism. And so it's quite uh, remarkable here in the 21st century that scientists and uh, medical experts are uh, researching these areas of merging man and machine and getting us more closely linked uh, to create these so-called superhumans and also to potentially deal with uh, problems that humans have, diseases and, and things of that nature. Uh, which brings me to an article that I'd like to refer you to from naturalnews.com that came out today and uh, the article is titled uh, Big Pharma shifting from deadly chemical drugs to bioelectric implants. Not content simply drugging its millions of victims with mind-altering chemical and biological inputs, the pharmaceutical industry is now developing ways to literally transform the human brain into a drug industry controlled biometric computer that will basically turn human beings into nothing more than mind-controlled robots. The Financial Times reports that GlaxoSmithKline, the drug behemoth recently forced to fork over the largest ever amount in fines for its massive criminal conduct, is leading the way in unveiling what the industry is now calling bioelectronics. 
The premise holds that certain diseases can be treated by injecting electronic devices within the body for the purpose of artificially controlling neural synopsis and other activity. Moving beyond conventional drugs that interact biochemically with the body, Big Pharma will have built a big bioelectronics business that treats disease through electrical signaling in the brain and elsewhere, writes Clive Cookson for FT.com about the concept, which is expected to eventually replace many common drugs. Neurological problems from stroke and epilepsy to depression will be treated through electronical implants into the brain rather than pills or injections. Even diabetes and obesity will be attacked in ways that seem like science fiction today by sending electrical signals to malfunctioning cells. Rather than help the body naturally heal itself through proper nutrition, cleansing and lifestyle, bioelectronics basically bypasses the body's own immune and healing systems and replaces them with remote controlled computer chips that can be programmed and monitored by outside forces. It is the embodiment of the bionic man or cyborg concept where human beings are taken over by computers and mind control. Presented alongside glowing results from a few recent clinical trials showing how the technology can be used to potentially help tetraplegics and other seriously injured or paralyzed patients regain function, uh, bioelectronics has the very real potential to be used for much more sinister purposes like controlling thought patterns. Yes, researchers are already saying it can be used to treat depression as well as individual eating habits and preferences. Ultimately, bioelectronics treats people in a purely mechanical way where subjective personal inputs that may not always be helpful are bypassed, wrote one commentator in response to the FT.com piece. How long before someone suggests serial criminals are fitted with the bioelectrical patches that stymie endorphins and reduce the excitement associated with criminal behavior? Or perhaps release a toxin that makes the person ill if they feel stimulated in the wrong way. So certainly uh, very intriguing that here in the 21st century, uh, we are uh, engaging in this kind of research and moving more closer to this uh, brave new world type of scenario in the future where man can be very, very controlled. And so, um, you know, I personally, I, I took the red pill, so I'd been unplugged from the matrix and I would like to remain that way. And so anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring that to your attention today. So I'll put a link to that article from naturalnews.com in the description uh, if you'd like to check that out. And uh, also from there you can learn a little bit more about this whole concept of transhumanism that we are slowly uh, moving towards here in the 21st century. And uh, that's it for today everyone. I want to thank you once again for tuning in. And I'll see you all right back here tomorrow at PressForTruth.tv.